Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really awesome three day weekend. So I have up on the screen, this is the first two trading weeks of 2024. We did close 2023 right here underneath the five minute 200 moving average. And we did open the year with a gap down and that five minute 200 moving average was resistance for the entirety of the first week. We got above it just briefly on Friday, but we did close underneath it. So then that takes us to last week. So you can see that we closed that first week above the one hour 200 moving average. And then we opened with a little gap up, got above the five minute 200 moving average and pushed up. We got above the 30 minute 200 moving average and closed above it. Monday was a huge update. I don't remember the exact number, but I believe it was up 0.14%, somewhere around there. And then on Tuesday, we gapped underneath the 30 minute and then we did come up and fill that gap. And then Tuesday was a down day. Uh, we closed Monday here and then Tuesday closed down just a little bit. And this is all preparation for CPI. We had CPI on Thursday and PPI on Friday. So Wednesday, we stayed above the 30 minute 200 moving average. We had an update on Wednesday, closed right here. And then that takes us to Thursday where we had CPI, which did come in hot. And the initial move was up and then we dropped and then came back up. And so Thursday was actually flat. We had a lot of big moves, but you can see we did open or we closed Wednesday right here and then we closed th uh, Thursday right here. So completely flat day on Thursday with that high uh, CPI reading. And then that takes us to Friday, last Friday, which was PPI. And PPI in pre-market did come in cooler than expected. And then we opened with a gap up. Oh, sorry, that was the end of Thursday. So Friday we opened with a gap up and we gapped up to right where we saw the high on Thursday. And from there we pushed up just a tiny bit before we dropped. But that five minute 200 moving average was right there and it did act as support for the entire day. And middle of the week, we did see the five minute 200 moving average cross the 30, which is a bullish signal, even though this is just on the five minute time frame. If we zoom out to the one day time frame, we can see that that same thing right here. So one, two, three, four, this was that first week right here. And then one, two, three, four, five, that second week we came up, we closed the gap from New Year's and we did close above where we closed 2023. RSI on the one day time frame is actually didn't, doesn't look like it was buying this move right here. You can see that it is pretty divergent and still underneath the average. That was a recap of last week. Let's go check out tomorrow's levels. All right, guys, so before we get into tomorrow's trading range, if you find this information useful, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. This helps the YouTube algorithm push the content out to more people that might find it useful. And if you wanna be notified each time I make a new video, make sure you subscribe and also hit that notification bell. This information is made for the very next trading day and it makes absolutely no sense to get it a week later. So make sure you hit that notification bell. So let's go. Tomorrow's implied move is between 474 and 479, and that is from options. And the 30 day average volatility is just about a dollar wider in each direction, 473 to 480. And to the upside, the very first level to look for is gonna be Thursday's high. We did get a little bit higher on Friday, but it's just wick and 
So we're gonna go with Thursday's high and that is 478. And if we push above 478, then the next uh, level is 479, which is the top of the implied move. And right above that is all time highs. So if we push above last uh, Thursday and Friday highs, look out for all time highs. And to the downside, we don't have anything to the downside really. 474 is the bottom of the implied move. 30 minute 200 moving average is just under that. And if we break that, we do have last Thursday's low, which is 472, but that's not necessarily what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that one hour 200 moving average. So tomorrow's trading range is wild. I think all eyes are on all time highs and the fact that we have had such low volume to even get there, I wouldn't be surprised if all-time highs would be a huge, huge bull trap. But that is just my opinion. Let me know if you think otherwise. And let's have fun tomorrow. Have fun, trade safe, make sure you take profits when you're up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night.